All right, we're live. Hey, everybody. This is Ronnie Reno under this mask, and uh, we're actually uh, starting something today. We're, we're testing a new a new type of a, of a show called Ronnie Reno Live. And as you can tell, uh, it's, it's during rough times here in Nashville, Tennessee, and all over the United States and all over the world, where we are um, under the um, stay at home and stay safe uh, policies of uh, just about everywhere. But anyway, we still wanted to get together, and, and I haven't seen folks for a long time, and, and I wanted to sort of come to you via my Facebook, and eventually we'll get over to our YouTube channel and so forth and so on. But I want to do a, a thing where I invite some of my friends, and we talk about what's been going on and stay in contact with the fans. Even though I retired last year and got off the road, I still have some dear friends and, and great fans uh, in this industry and have had for 60 years, but I'm going to take this thing off. I was sort of kidding with everybody about the, uh, about the coronavirus and everything, but it is, I'm, I'm dead serious about it. We have to stay safe and watch each other and, and sort of, um, get through these times. Um, uh, but I do want to, um, uh, I asked a good friend of mine today to, uh, come on with me and uh, he's sort of my guinea pig for today for our very first show live. His name is Larry Stevenson, and uh, Larry, thank you, bro. Come on in. Are you I'm here? here. Thank you for having me, Ronnie. It's good to, good to see your face. Oh, you bet. You bet. I shouldn't have <laughs> took that mask off, I guess. But, uh, well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sort of, I know you know what we're, we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, sort of figure out how things that we can do to keep our, our fans involved, to keep uh, our musicians, our entertainers busy during these times. And, and of course I know you who was one of the busiest, uh, with his, his band, they ain't nobody any busier than Larry Stevenson. And so thanks for coming on today and, and sort of tell me a little bit about what you've been doing since you've been sort of had to basically stop. Well, it, it's an honor to be here with you, uh, and, and to be your Guinea pig. I'm, I'm really good with that. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you and I have been talking a lot on the phone the last couple of months. And, I, and yeah. I always enjoy our chat. Sometimes they're five or 10 minutes, sometimes they're 30 minutes. And uh, we've always got a lot to talk about. But my wife and my daughter and I, we've been staying at home. Um, uh, and there's a little bit something about it that I've enjoyed. Um, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to use the word burnout, but boy, you know, we've been going so long and so hard. I celebrated the 30th anniversary of the band last year. Yeah. I knew that. And, and almost I knew 40 that. years doing this. And I, you know, I'm, I'm not up to, to your status, but you know, we go and we, we drive and we stay up half the night and we play and we sing. It's been a good little break, but I'm getting a little tired of it. But I have enjoyed being home. We're eating our meals at home and, and um, keeping the grass mowed and, and sure. just, uh, just sure. things like that, you know. Well, even though you don't, you know, we don't tour used to whenever I was uh, many years ago when I was touring a lot with the uh, different bands in my own band, we would be gone months at a time. And yeah. now it's basically weekends. You're out to. Uh, leave Thursday night or Friday night and you're back home Sunday night or Monday or so forth and so on. It's not quite as bad as it was as far as being gone, but the older you get, the more you miss your own bed at home. And, and I, I got to where that I'd been out there so long, I could hit a pothole and I could tell you if I was in Roanoke, Virginia, or if I was in Detroit, I knew exactly where yeah. I was in yeah. Knoxville. I knew every time I went through Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah. But, so, Saying that, I don't miss that at all. I don't. I, I loved it when I got where I was going, and I love seeing everybody. And as the time goes on, you've been out there, like you say, this is your 30th year. And you've still got quite a few more years left. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. But eventually, it will come down to where you say, boy, I wonder wonder what the, what's going on at the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, you know... I'm, I miss getting in my bus and, and, and going and driving and, and things like that. And I do some bus driving. I, I do kind of miss all that, but I, but yet it's, it's kind of, I'm on the fence. It's a double edged sword. However you want to say it. Uh, I've just, I really kind of enjoyed the time at home and, oh, uh, yeah. and uh, not going out to restaurants and eating cause we eat out so much. And, uh, and, 
and there's something good to be said about it. But with that being said, I do miss playing music. I miss my band. I miss the fans and the interaction with them. And uh, I really look forward to getting back to it, hopefully as soon as we can. Well, you will. I'm not exactly sure. And I was going to get your thoughts uh, on all this going on. Uh, you know, this could change the way that we do um, our entertainment business. As far as concerts, it could change the way that we present our music. It could change the way fans receive our music. Uh, I think that what you and I are doing today will be one of the new ways that uh, that we actually bring our music into the homes of uh, of fans and people that enjoy the music that are that still uh, receive the messages that we try to put out in our songs and our in our music. But you know, I know you talk to a lot more folks than I do. I've sort of been sort of, you know, reinventing myself for the last um, quite, uh, you know, since October with uh, me retiring from the road, but you're still out there. So give me your, your thoughts and, and, and where you think everything's going to go and how's, how's it going to go that way, Larry? I, I'll be honest with you, Ronnie. I, I don't know that I'm smart enough to answer that question. Uh, <laughs> my, my gut feeling is, and I was talking with my friend Missy Rains this morning, great yeah. bass player and just yes. a long time friend. I've known her since we were kids and uh, we both seem to think that we probably won't play music this year. Uh, most of my dates have been canceled um, through June and July. I've still got a few hanging on in June and July. Uh, haven't heard a lot about August and September, but most of them have been canceled or postponed to next year. A lot of them I'm rebooking next year. Yeah. But it's just so much uncertainty. It's just every time uh, I need to quit watching the news, but, you know, every time <laughs> you turn around and hear something different and you, from right. somebody else's opinion, and it's really kind of hard for me to keep up with it. And uh, it's, it's, it, I, I don't know, Ronnie, I really don't know, but this, this could be it right here. We're doing this same thing on Sunday mornings with the church I go to. You were telling me about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell everybody about what, what you've been doing, I guess, through a Zoom. Is that what through you're Through Zoom, uh, Station Camp Baptist Church here in Cottontown, Tennessee. Uh, it's a mm -hmm. small church. We don't have a lot of folks with us, but uh, my wife actually, Dream Up, set it up the first time we did it, and we did the Zoom mm -hmm. uh, on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock. And uh, most Sunday mornings, I get the guitar out and we'll sing a gospel song and get the service started, and then our our preacher will preach for about 30 minutes and and we all talk and chat amongst each other for a few minutes and about 45 minutes or so and we're done but this this may be the the so-called new normal i don't know yeah i i think it it will be um who knows it, it may go into percentages this may be 50 percent of the new normal uh and you still may may maintain 50 percent of the uh the way we used to do it touring yeah. some and only be gone four or five months out of the year. And these are the months that you're going to be gone. These other months are the months you're going to be doing this and doing other things. Uh, and, you know, sort of still say it, staying with your fans. I know what we're doing here, we're going to be getting comments uh, from people that, that want to talk to us, want to, uh, you know, ask us questions. And same thing with uh, buddies of ours. I know uh, I've been watching the, uh, uh, Sonny Osborne a lot with you can ask anything a uh, Sonny anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. I do because I know Sonny will answer any question you ask him, you know, but don't ask him if you don't want to hear the answer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I did explain to everybody. I, I worked with Bobby and Sonny for quite a few years back in the uh, late sixties and the early seventies. Oh yeah, you did. You used to come and, and see us uh, up in watermelon park, didn't you? And, and, <laughs> Yes. My, my daddy took me the 4th of July to Berryville, Virginia, Watermelon Park. And that's that's the first time I remember seeing you, I think, because you told a joke up there that day about Dolly Parton. <laughs> well, you know, Dolly would have told the same joke. You know? She would have. <laughs> as, a, as a kid, I mean, I'm a little younger than you, but as a kid, it's just something that I will never forget. That there was thousands and thousands of people sitting out there that day. <laughs> on the banks of the Shenandoah River. And Ronnie Reno goes, look, folks, there's Dolly Parton back there. 5,000 heads turned to look. 
and you went, oh, excuse me, there's two ball headed men sitting next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am, 50 years later, still talking about that. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious for sure. But you guys, well, you know, you guys were the best, man. And I had so many good memories of you with the Osborne brothers and you with your dad and your brothers. And boy, what, what good times. Oh, you bet. You bet. Well, we were playing some, uh, I, I remember those days very, very well because I had played some great music with my father, Don Reno and yeah. Miley. And, uh, and of course I got, I, I got bit, I'll say that word, by the harmonies that Bobby and Sonny Osborne were doing and the way they were doing these gorgeous turns with their voices and oh, it was yeah. like a, a big choir, but yet it was only three people. And so I just got hooked on it. And then I got to know both of them very well. And I said, I want to do this for a little while. You know, I want to sing with these guys. And I, I never will forget. We used, we did Porter Wagner's TV show many years ago and Porter we sang something. I forgot what it was. We'd done an old Hank Williams song, if I'm not mistaken. You went again or something like that. And Porter came on. He said, they don't get no closer than that. He said, that was a pipe organ right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so what a great compliment for me. And and we did do some great, great um, uh, singing back many years ago. And, and of course, uh, Bobby is still doing it with Bobby Osborne in the, in the Express. And Sonny is sort of like where I'm at. Uh, he retired maybe 10 years ago or 10 or 12 years ago. And I always told him how much I admired him for doing that because when it got to really be in work, Sonny decided he would get off the road too. And so anyway, hats off to Sonny. And uh, he's, he's, he's done great things for our music and great things for me and my family also. But I never will forget, uh, you know, you, you, uh, you actually, your style's a lot like Bobby's. And when you're singing, I notice. Well, yeah, uh, you know, as a kid, I was singing through the roof, and 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 when my voice changed, it it just stayed in the tenor range. And then I discovered, uh, you know, I was listening to Jim and Jesse and some Lewis uh, yeah. the Lubin brothers and different people, and then I discovered the Osborne brothers. And the first time I ever saw them was at American Legion Park in Culpeper, Virginia. And yeah, um, and I, uh, boy, they. That bug bit me hard when I saw the Osborne brothers and we had a wonderful record store there in Fredericksburg, Virginia, close to where I grew up. And uh, and I went over every Saturday and bought everything I could of them. And it took me a long time to figure out all those harmonies. And, oh, uh, nice. <laughs> and what was going on. And, and well, that's not a that's not a tenor line. What is he doing there? You oh, know? No. And, know. and all that. But uh, was a bit hard and my voice stayed up there and I was fortunate enough to go to work with a group called the Bluegrass Cardinals in oh, 1983 so. who, who had that style of singing and, mm -hmm. uh, and two great singers in Don and David Parmley. Yeah. So uh, it's a style that I've always loved that the, the style of music they played and the songs, the arrangements and, and, yeah. uh, and I do quite a bit of that with my band over the years. So yeah, it, it's, it just doesn't get any better. And Bob and Sonny are just absolutely the best. They are. Uh, I value, are. value, value as you do your their friendship. Oh, I, I, I do too. And and we've maintained our friendship down through the years. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I, I enjoy, I don't think your voice ever changed, old Larry. I think it's still about the same uh, high voice that you had when you were 10. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. <laughs> hey, but uh, I tell you what, I noticed you got your mandolin uh, there beside you. We this is this is our first time at trying this, so we don't know how it would work with us singing together and playing together. But we did think we might. I thought I might ask you to do a song uh, today and see if you felt like singing something today. Well, you, I'll try. My calluses are gone. I don't. Know. Well, mine mine left too. Yours left too. Okay. Oh, long time ago. <laughs> Let's try this. If you can sing along with me, I'll do a verse in the course of one of my all-time favorite songs. Okay. And it just so happens to be the Oz and Osborne Brothers song. This is something I've never really performed very much, but I love this whole song. Once in life you meet someone who gives to you. The reason for that life 
and what some love can do. So now I'm armed for troubled times with all I need. For I have you, my favorite memory. You gave me something I can never take from me. A light that guides me with laughter and eyes. When I'm cold, a hand to hold will comfort me. Cause you'll be there, my favorite man. <laughs> that's great bro that's oh great. thank you i love that were you singing with me i was i was trying i don't know if i heard it or not but i was humming yeah. could you I, heard, I heard you a little bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey uh we was talking on the phone the other day and you was telling me you had been out to some bars house uh helping them with some storm stuff you know, it's on top of all this coronavirus and everything else that's going on, the Nashville and the Middle Tennessee area has just been devastated with with the tornadoes the first part of March and the and uh and the storms that we've had. And we had one come through Sunday night. Uh it got pretty crazy around my house. Yeah. Luckily we didn't have any damage, but same here. Yeah, in Hendersonville and just a lot of rain, but they had a some high winds and some uh, uh maybe a small tornado set down out in uh, lebanon tennessee uh, not far yes. from us we're in donna ulysses and rick stanley's house and rebecca yeah. long that little yeah. area out there and um and boy we were just out there last week and actually visited with them a little bit last friday night at a bonfire and just had the best time and we social oh, yeah. and 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 uh and had a wonderful time then they get hit sunday night with that so yeah i was out there yesterday with donna you know, right yeah it'd be cool if donna was watching maybe we could get her to call in or something i know she's you a think maybe she is i don't know i don't know it'd be neat if she did she's one of the great little songwriters it would be neat. you guys want me to see if i can't get donna to, to uh come on here oh it'd be great sammy you think you could can you uh, let me go talk ronnie? and see yeah hey, ronnie yeah, we better do our talking now because we won't get a word in it. <laughs> hey, that's what I need. I really do, Larry. I do. But yeah, uh, uh, Sammy's going to holler and see if we can't find uh, Donna, maybe get her on here and chat with us. And, and like I said, this is our first time um, of doing this. And we hope uh, uh, that it'll grow into um, a lot of folks being um, able to, to get on with us and talk to us and 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 anything that's uh, sort of interact interact with us, you know, stuff like that. That'd be great. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, Donna. Okay, I I love you, Donna. I you didn't do my hair or anything, but the minute I heard that cute Larry Stevenson was online, I just oh. had to run and see him. Oh, uh, that's cool. That's I well, see you. I, I can't see you. hear you, Larry, but you're pointing at me. Are you pointing at me? I am. What? I'm oh, trying to. Can you hear me, Donna? Can you I can hear, hear you just fine, but I can only see Larry. I can do this. Hi, you Larry can wave. Stevenson. Uh, Hi, Donna. Well, Hi, Donna. I didn't get to put my makeup on, uh, and my hair looks like it has been through a tornado, but I, it really was. It has, it has <laughs> been, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. I heard I y'all heard had some rough weather out there. Did y'all get oh. Yeah, house? I'm a drama magnet, so it's only fitting that it would come through my backyard and take my bonds <laughs> out. That just to get Larry and Dreama over. I'll do, I'll do anything to get Larry Stevenson well, to visit. <laughs> it worked. You got us I over can there. See your lips moving, Larry. It he, looks. He said it. He said it worked, Donna. That he, you, but you didn't have to go to that length. He would have come over long before. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me, it, it, it hit 
it hit my place and then it skipped across the street and hit Rebecca Long's place. And um, friends like Larry and Dreama, Aaron, Sally, Jerry's wife, um, they oh. came out and helped us and our kids, of course. And um, it's been a mess, but we're getting we're getting it back. It's coming into focus a little bit. Well, as long as it didn't take the roof off of your house, uh, then it's a dual. Nah. You know? <laughs> it tried yeah. to. It tried oh, yeah. Hey, well, I appreciate you. This is our, I, I think I, I was explaining to Larry and I'm explaining to everybody out there that's watching us through our, through our Facebook and eventually we're going to get it onto our YouTube and this, that, and the other. We're just, this is our very first Ronnie Reno live, Donna. And thank you so much for getting on here with me. Well, I, I'm thrilled. And I think this is a wonderful idea, Ronnie. And I think you're perfect for this. And I just wish you all the best and call me anytime. Um, you know, next time maybe I'll do my hair and makeup and won't embarrass Larry like this. Oh, you're not embarrassing me. <laughs> anyway. hey, if, you, if you can't do it and you need a hat, I've got several of these. I'll loan you. <laughs> I'll get a hat. <laughs> you don't need a hat. If I had that kind of hair, I wouldn't have a hat. <laughs> it's a lot but of now, what, I, We've been talking to Larry, and I'll ask you since I got you on here. Uh, what is... How is this coronavirus affecting you and, and your travels and, and what your, you know, your entertainment business? I know you're a songwriter. You write a lot of songs. Uh, it's not affecting that. You can write a song through anything. But I've been writing, yeah. Well, that's a good time. Uh, your downtime, yeah. downtime. Uh, but still, it's got to be affecting you a little bit as far as, as your band and things that you are, were going to do. Let me say that. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, we do a thing called the Little House Songwriting Workshops out here, and I was sold out for the next eight months and unfortunately had to cancel all the workshops. And our our dates are dismal now. They've kind of canceled out. But I'm staying hopeful that we're going to get this all figured out. Um, I'm, I'm always planning the next move. And, and so, <laughs> Larry, just be expecting a phone call. I'm, I'm trying to come up with plan B. Really, I'm working on plan C right now, but it, it's all good. It's going to have music in it. I know our future is going to be about music. Sure. I know this community is strong and uh, and has weathered many storms. So I'm, sure. I'm expecting bluegrass to be thriving in a few months, I'm hoping. Well, it will. Uh, music doesn't know what coronavirus means. Uh, it doesn't know the, the you know, what is it? it uh, you're going to have the music and you're going to have people's moods goes up and down with that in this universal language. We love our music and we yeah. love all that goes with it, uh, it's emotions. And, 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 you know, when you're down, we want to pull you up. And when you're, you're up, we want to pull you down. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, it's, uh, you know, from, it's, from us. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I just think it, it's going to be a change, uh, such a change to the way that I did what I did for so many years. And of course, I'm I'm retired now, and and uh, I'm enjoying doing this. I'm of course I'm doing this from my house. So isn't that it, nice? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. I mean, and I when I get done with this, I'll go eat lunch and and in, in, uh, in my house. And so yeah, what was eventually happens to you in life? You know, you sort of slow down. Uh, used to my speed limit was 85 and I did that all the time, you know, and Larry's is, his is down to about 75 now in Larry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yesterday it looked like it was at about a hundred miles an hour. Saying, <laughs> yeah, but that, was, that was the Still wind. The <laughs> <laughs> that was the wind out there at your house. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what I was going to say, Ronnie, is from a songwriter's perspective, you know, this is fertile ground. And yes. the most beautiful part about bluegrass music is that we write about real life. So there is going to be no shortage of writing about this time in our lives. It's unique. Uh, it's historical. And we're going to want to put a, a stamp on it, a time stamp on it through songwriting. And I'm on it. I'm on it every day, Good. sometimes in the middle of the night, too. Good. <laughs> Good. Well, you know, for many, many years, I wrote songs. I wrote with some of the greatest songwriters uh, in our industry and, and was fortunate enough to write a bunch of great songs. Uh, and I, I sort of let my publishing company lay for many, many years because I was pursuing my production company in television and you know, you can't do it all. You can do a lot. Don't get me wrong. And, and that's what we do in our industry. We're, we wear many hats. Yes. But I have let my publishing company lay for so many years. And I got such a, uh, 
so many songs in our in my publishing company that I'm, you know, they're like new songs now because the song doesn't know when it was written at all. And so uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start pitching some of my things. I think good. And, and you know, just sort of, sort of just yeah, it's refreshing now when I go back and, and listen to some of the stuff that 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 we wrote. You know, thirty years ago, uh, I was a that was one of my bad things, and I know you and Larry feel the same way. When you write a song, it's your new baby. Yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't even pitch my stuff because I wanted to record it. You know, yeah. I down Conway Twitty when he re- wanted to record Boogie Grass Band. I said, no, no, Conway, I think I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I later thought about it and went back to him and, and said, Conway, I've thought about this. And yes, I do want you to record that song. <laughs> <laughs> But now you that know have been a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> mistake. Yeah. It really would have. Anyway, uh, keep writing and and uh, thank you so much for coming on and, and talking with Larry and I, Donna. And well, I'll tell you what, next time I do this, I want to get you on again if it's if if we can. Can oh, we? Anytime. Anytime. I love it. We'll count on it, darling. We'll look we'll look forward to doing it soon. All right. Bye, Donna. <laughs> bye, bye, Donna. <laughs> she is a sweet lady. She is. She, she's the best. She's she's one of our best friends. I say our dream and I's best friends, and we see her and her husband Rick a lot, and socialize and uh, go out to eat, and and yeah. we come to our house. We go to their house, and 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 I it, it was just I was glad I was able to go over. Dreama went over Monday. And I went over yesterday and helped them out. It's just unbelievable what that little, what that little storm did to them over their Sunday night. And then we got hit again last night. It wasn't as bad, but uh, right. they're just some of right. our favorite people. We thank the world of them. Well, I'm, I'm gonna I'll get her back on. Let her sing for us. She's oh, one of yeah. the great singers too, for sure. But uh, <clears throat> I was, hey guys, uh, I just wanted to jump in. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we had the uh, audio issue, looks like, with Larry. Uh, Donna couldn't hear um, your mic for some reason, although it was. We could all hear it, so that's something that we're going to work out in the future. But That wasn't uh, me, was it? No, it's probably something that I'll have to look into as far as when we bring guests in, uh, okay. making sure that it, your mic might have been uh, muted, uh, maybe a, a default setting that I'll just work out with the guests. Okay. Uh, but we're able to hear you um and everything's running smoothly so but it's just one of those things our first show our first test um but this is definitely worth doing that was great are i mean we, are, we, are we still on or are we off now we're still on we're, we're, we're still on oh okay, right. so, okay. I'll, I'll let well, you uh, get back to it well i mean it, it's just like i said i think everybody knows that this is our first uh, first stab at this uh, and we get intend on taking many steps at it. This is fun. I'm actually having fun with with Larry and with Donna, and of course Sammy always with you for sure. And of course Sammy Passamano is uh, puts all this together and flips the buttons, and he's doing all this stuff. He's the little brain when it comes to uh, uh, the electric car. I'll put it that way. And uh, so Sammy, thank you for doing all this stuff, bro. Yeah. Hard work on the in the background for sure. Yeah, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and test one more function that I think is important, and uh, let me uh, go ahead and pull up uh, Larry's website where people can see his. Story. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is one, uh, another thing that we're going to start doing. Yeah. I'll let you tell. Uh, in fact, I think your wife, Miss Dreama, actually put put this whole website together, didn't she? Dreama d- does the website. Uh, takes care of a lot of the business with our record company, Whisper Dream Music. Our Latest release is simply entitled 30, and it's right there on the screen. It's uh, celebrating the 30th anniversary of the band and a lot of new songs. There's a Donna Ulysses song that Donna, uh, Donna and I wrote. Uh, we went back and recorded some early uh, songs of the, the band from the early days that have been out of print that were good to us. And so, yeah, a uh, good website. Everything's updated uh, constantly. And uh, for the most part, I think. <laughs> and uh, it looks great. It looks great, Larry. Looks yeah, good. Thank, thank you, Ronnie. A lot of pictures and the band members and, and you know, the typical website stuff. Dreamer does a good job with all that. That's great. Well, go to Larry's website and see, uh, get some of his great music and, and, uh, 
and, and you can either, you know, we're in the modern age now where you don't have to send out the CD if you, you would like to, because there's what, 10 or 12 songs on it. But if you want to go in there and download it and do whatever you want to do it that way, uh, Sammy, I want you to also tell them a little bit about uh, Bluegrass Music TV and where they, uh, you know, what we're doing with that. And, and that's going to our latest project for sure. Yeah, so Bluegrass Music TV is the um, um, it's going to be the platform where um, bluegrass music is is all combined into one space. Um, so if you're looking for you know Larry's newest video um, or or um, Ronnie's newest video, um, you'll go on to the uh, Facebook page or our website. Our website is bluegrassmusictv.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to be housing all of Ronnie Reno's catalog, his big, beautiful bluegrass catalog. A lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, and we're going to be incorporating that with, um, you know, everybody's stuff. It's not just Ronnie's stuff, um, although Ronnie will have his own channel. Um, and then we'll be able to, you know, a lot of people to go on there and then watch all of his content. Um, you know, and we're really excited about it. Um, we've been doing it for about two and a half months now, three months now. Um, the page is built for artists to be able to upload their videos, and then we get it out to multiple pages. So, you know, we're working with a lot of, of the uh, of Facebook pages right now. Uh, we just started a new video chart. Um, so we have a lot of things that are that are we're doing with Bluegrass Music TV that we're just really excited about. Uh, and, of course, Ronnie Reno is... is um, He's our flagship right there. He's, he's our guy. So, <laughs> we're really well, excited. I, I've, I, you know, one of the biggest things that I'm so proud of is down through the years is, is the artist uh, that has uh, basically uh, helped me. They've come on. Larry is one of them. Uh, he's done my show many times. And they, you know, they helped us put this uh, wonderful catalog together of all the a great bluegrass artist and, and their great music. And I was able to showcase it in, in a good light. Uh, you know, I had a good uh, production team. Um, I had a good um, director. I had good, everything was involved, a good lighting director, uh, a good audio director. And, and so we have down through the years, I've been, uh, I even went back, go back to night in the early sixties with my dad's music and came forward and, and got a lot of stuff. And I started my, uh, my uh, journey back in 92 uh and so from 92 on we've been doing this thing up until uh, uh several years ago so we're gonna that's gonna be like home for reno's old time music uh it's gonna be home for larry stevenson hopefully uh it's anything he wants to put on uh on our channel uh and and like i said with the with the uh, the chart then it's able to uh people are it, there will be able to go on there and say, okay, uh, on bluegrass music TV, um, it, 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 my video is number 12 or number eight or number five. In fact, we have no, a number one song on bluegrass music TV. I was going to, it's funny. What's funny. I, was, I brought this on Larry and you'll get a kick out of this. I made my own bandana here uh, with this thing. When they, I couldn't find one. I went back and found this, this is CMT a bandana that was given to me when right right after they started the entire network. Stan Hitchcock wow. did it. And Stan and I used to, to to get on there with the guitars. Very same thing we're gonna get do here is pick and sing a little bit. But I went back and made me a made made me a mask with it. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways so that's what we're we're doing uh with the blue now, you know what you know what I thought that was gonna be? What I, I thought that was going to be Merle Haggard's red bandana tied around that Auburn hair. That's I where probably, I thought I, you were going. <laughs> I probably got that bandana. I, got I bet you do. <laughs> I really do. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, I thought I got a kick out of that because that's I was good. Stuff, and I had, of course, the Don, uh, Don Reno bandanas, the Reno Brothers da bandana, the <laughs> bandana for sure. But uh, anyway, that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, uh, for those of you who are watching and, and sort of make this maybe a weekly thing or, or every two weeks or whatever we can uh, come together with this thing. And, and it, it, this is a fun part for me is doing this. And, uh, and I, once again, 
Larry, I appreciate you uh, doing this. And, and I don't even know how long have we been sitting here talking because there's no, no time limit on being here. I've shown 34 minutes, 35 minutes right now. Hey, well, now we're talking. Well, I'm normally doing a 30 minute show, so I'm four minutes over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we uh, hope you've had a good time today. Uh, we have, and we're going to, going to get off here and let y'all go eat your lunch and everything like that. But anyway, Larry, once again, thank you, brother, for doing this with us. And uh, and once we get her all nailed down, we I want you to come back and, and maybe you can hear me sing with you next time here. Yeah, my pleasure, Ronnie. Thanks for asking. And uh, I enjoyed it very much. Thank you, Sammy, and uh, for, for allowing this to happen. And I value your friendship, Ronnie. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, same here, Larry. Thank you, brother. And thanks, everybody, for watching. We appreciate y'all. And, and Sammy, thanks for the good work you've done, too. Let us hear from everybody here. Bye-bye.